Hey there, all you wonderful people. Welcome to the video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what you can do when you just sort of start to get sick of people always checking in on you, seeing if you're okay, always asking how are things going, how things are, and perhaps you're not quite sure what to say to them, or you sort of really don't like it for them to keep doing that. It is important to have a really good support network just to call, you know, have a talk with them just to know that they're rooting for you, to know they've got your back, to know that they're there to support you. So there are two things that can happen with your support network. First of all, you are going to perhaps not be able to feel comfortable sharing what you're going through. Perhaps you'll feel like you can't put it into words. Perhaps you feel like they might not understand. And there's also the thing of the people who are close to you and who are noticing this they might not actually know what to say. They might not be sure how to help you. You've got to realize that these people are trying to help you, but also you've got to realize what type of help that you need. So it is completely okay to sort of be open with them and just speak what's on your mind. You can say something like, you know, look, I, I really appreciate you sort of looking out for me, but you know, I don't really know what to say when you keep asking me, how are you going? Because I'm not going that good at the moment and I'm not quite sure how to respond to that. When you do this, it opens up a dialogue between you both and that gives you an opportunity to talk about more of the stuff that you might actually need their support with. So you can actually think about, well, what do I need? Do I need somebody to check in? Do I need somebody to keep asking me if I, I'm okay? Or do I just need someone to listen to me judgment-free, not try and fix me, not try and offer advice, you know, just to be there for me and just to listen while I just talk about my problems. If that is the case, that is quite okay to say that to them. But if you're finding that you're getting a little bit frustrated by people always checking in on you, then it's okay to say that as well. And you can say it along the lines of something like, look, I do really appreciate you sort of checking in. But when, when you do that, it sort of just keeps reminding me that something's wrong with me and I, I'm doing my best to sort of overcome this. So instead of checking in with me, can you just maybe suggest things that we can do or ask me to hang out or, or stuff like that? There's no need for you to hide anything and there's no need for you to also be aware of your boundaries and also to say your needs as well. And when you do this in sort of a, you know, a calm non-judgmental, non-attacking type of way, if it's just like a conversation, then a lot more dialogue is going to happen. A lot more communication is going to happen. And that is what is going to enable you to sort of get what you want. And it's also going to make the other person feel a lot more comfortable because maybe they don't know what you want. Maybe they're just doing this because that's what they think that they should do. But if you sort of tell them more of the things that you want, then it's actually going to make them feel a lot better because they're going to be like, okay, cool. Now I know that I shouldn't check in all the time. I'm glad that I'm glad that you told me that. Or, okay, yeah, now that I know that you want to do this, I'll, I'll do more of this instead. Oh, if you just want me to listen to you, that's totally cool. You know, I can be there whenever you need that. My friends, if you are sick of people checking in on you, then remember that they're doing it from a place of caring. And it could be because they don't know what to do. So avoid getting that frustration and that sort of irritability with them. And just speak your mind, just be open and honest as best you can about it, about how you're feeling and what you want. And you're probably going to find that the situation is going to go a lot more uh, better for both of you. I hope you've liked the video and learned a little bit from it. And if you have liked it or learned something, consider subscribing or liking the video. That would be cool. And until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.